I think we have shame for so many things and shame clips our wings and kind of shoots us down before we even get into the playground. The success won't afford the things that a lot of us say we want, which is peace, connectivity, um, being on our deathbed going, wow, that was awesome, versus, oh, so many regrets. You know, so I think there's a lot of shame around recognition because being in the public eye and being recognized for things, I associated them with and I coupled them with challenging things. So being a really um, luminous young child had me have challenges in school with envy and hostility and hate, full-blown hate for the specialness. So it's counterintuitive in some ways for me and I'm imagining for others to step up and say, I'm amazing and I'm precious and I'm sweet and I'm talented. I had to step through the shame of recognition because being recognized as awesome is often coupled with the trauma of being judged and having the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune being hurtled your way. You know? So I think the distinction for me that made it really um, made me be able to express how much I do love aspects of myself or myself mm -hmm. is that um, unique is so lovely versus special. I was told so much as a kid how special I was and it I kind of short-circuited whenever I would hear that because the implication in that to me is that you're better than or worse than. And the biggest divisive tool is the idea, and success plays into this too as it's been formally in the antiquated definition of success, implies that we're better than or worse than with each other. And that unfortunately has us come into every interaction going, am I better than you or worse than you? You've had two kids, I have one, you're better. I'm three years younger than you. I'm better. Uh, I'm married, I'm better. Uh, you're, uh, you have a PhD, you're better. Um, so, so it's this interaction of who's better or who's worse versus who are you today? Who am I today? How are you feeling? How's your body? I'll interact with someone, perhaps it's an, a former employee or is someone that I meet on the street who, who may project onto me that I am better than them. And when I connect with them, I can see the unrest around not wanting to have that illusion busted open. I'm learning that win-win. Uh, so whether it's a business deal, multi-million dollar contract, whether it's what we're gonna go eat for lunch, whether it's where we're going, what park we're going to for my son, it's win-win or no deal. So to me, that's success. If we can find a win-win, or frankly, if we can walk away from something where there is no win-win, that's success to me.